Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning guys. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. I know we said we don't typically post on the weekends, but I am really exciting. There's some things that's happening. He just missed you guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Something happened yesterday that was huge. It was huge. Number one, Uncle David uh, up at Come On Homesteading has got a new Fired Up Friday video. It is out and ready. You gotta go check that out. <laughs> Man, I know everybody has been waiting, and if you don't know about it, my Uncle David has his own YouTube channel as well. It's up on the hill up there. It is, his title is Come On Homesteading. He has a side channel called Fired Up Friday where he does a lot of cooking. And, uh, well, it is a cooking channel, and he has a new video out. It's amazing. <laughs> also, something else happened. Our friends Gary and Mary came over. They came uh, yesterday and brought Miley, their daughter, over and hung out for a while. But the big part was old Gumby helped me work on Betsy. Betsy got some love oh. yesterday. <laughs> I'm so excited. She um, still needs some work, but yeah, one of the big parts is taken care of. Yeah. The part that I was afraid of. Thank you, Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> the spark plugs and the coil packs have been replaced, all eight of them. Yay! <laughs> Matter of fact, we're down here with old Betsy right now. Let me go ahead and I'll show you guys what they look like. You guys know you want to see it. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. I'm so excited. Walk this way. I couldn't even talk correctly. Talk this way. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I know you might be thinking, well, what am I looking at? Well, let me explain. So if you can see the red, each one of those red things that you guys see are called coil packs. And they attach to the top of the spark plug or to the bottom of the spark plug, whichever way you want to call it. And, um... Number one and number two were pretty easy. Number three was a little bit more difficult. Number four was very difficult. But under all this stuff right here, it's numbers five, six, seven, and eight. And let me tell you this, number seven and eight were very, very difficult. <laughs> I can see now why some shops did not want to work on this motor. Man. <laughs> Thank you, Gumby. <laughs> and uh, I will say this. We, as a, as a channel, did not film any of it. If you want to see the exclusive action working on Old Betsy, you'll have to go over to Junk to Gems Homestead and check them out. They will have that video available. Uh, I don't know if it'll be ready today, but maybe tomorrow or the next day. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really awesome. I hope Mary does a good job oh, and, and edits. Well, I was saying I hope she does a good job and edits out all my uh, all my frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not all of them, but ooh. I can tell you this. If I would have tried it myself, I, I may have could have done it. I may have. Because after doing it with him, it wasn't terribly difficult as far as what was actually needing to be done. I would have just been extremely nervous. There would have been a lot of yelling and cursing. Yes. 100%. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there was already yelling and cursing, and I wasn't even the mean one working. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will spill some beans. I did lose a bolt. You know, mm. something always has to happen. Mm. <laughs> um, it is not a bolt that is, um, I mean, all bolts are important. But it's not a bolt that's going to keep the truck from running. But I do need to go ahead and get on top of that bolt. Um, I, I will be able to act. There's two of them. so And it's a, it's a bracket bolt holding a bracket down. And with all these bumpy roads, I do need to address it. But it fell down in the back of the motor. And we couldn't get it. And that's where most of the aggravations came in. <laughs> at the end. At the end. Oh, man. But I am super excited about that. And, uh, and I actually kept all the spark plugs and... Um, what are they called? The coil packs over here in the cart. Let me show you guys what they look like. Because it is pretty bad. I can definitely understand why they were not working. I would also like to say thank you so much to the subscriber who sent the uh, repair book for the Ford. I really appreciate it. 
and also the subscriber who sent this toolkit because we definitely use that one. I also use my Vivor toolkit. And here are the spark plugs. And uh, and what, what we're looking at here is the top of that spark plug. See how, how there's like nothing left of it, my queen? Mm -hmm. It's like gown. And a lot of them were super oily, really bad. They were real bad. But here was the crazy part, baby. Look at this. So here is a coil pack. These are coil packs. And if you didn't know, a coil pack replaces something uh, older cars had called a distributor cap, right? And that's where the, the wires went to the spark plug, okay? Well, here's the wire at the bottom, all right? And this part at the top is like the distributor cap where it plugs in and stuff, okay? But that's what a normal one would look like, right? Mm -hmm. Dusty and old. <laughs> Look at this one. That looks nasty. That looks nasty. Look at all the oil all over that one. <laughs> no wonder that the spark plugs couldn't fire. And then look, so I got one, two, three, four. I got four that look regular, and there's eight, okay? So four that look regular, one that looks pretty bad. One, two that look pretty bad, and two are that are absolutely terribly covered in oil. So that's one big reason why the truck was not running wonderful. <laughs> and there we come uh, to find out that there are other major issues. Well, not major, but pretty big issues. The injectors, um, and the injectors from what I've gathered from Gumby is what actually gives the motor the gas. Okay. And the injectors are really dirty, like really, really, really. They need they be nasty. They they need <laughs> they need to be replaced. Look, hey, look at the uh, the air filter that pull, got pulled out of it. Look, check the air filter out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Gross. Look. No. <laughs> look at all the dust and stuff that came out of that. That's disgusting. That looks like my rugs. Yeah, like the rugs. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we could not find, uh, and you know what? I didn't look in the book either for the cabin air filter. That's one thing I need to look at. I was uh, busy trying to remove number seven and eight <laughs> because my hands were a little smaller than Gumby's and he was uh, looking at the filter and stuff like that. So once again, if you guys want to see the footage of us working on old Betsy because I did not personally want to film it. <laughs> uh, you will have to go over to Junk the Gems Homestead and watch. And um, I did do some work. I uh, I was very proud of myself. I did get my hands in there and get greasy. But, uh, but Gumby did the most of the work. Yeah. And today, actually, over on Drifting Dreamers 5, a video came out of getting Uber stuck. <laughs> we did attempt uh, to go around Drifters Lane. And we were like, you know what? Build a new road, right? At least try to. And it went good for about 50 feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to check out the video to see. Yeah, guys, if you haven't seen that yet, go over to Drifting Dreamers 5. We put out a new video today. It is <laughs> wild. Lissa learned how to drive lift. I did. I did. And a matter of fact, we're standing right here by it. Why don't we look at that while we're here? Ta-da! <laughs> it was going well. It, it was. It was going well. As you can see, we're going uphill right here. I need, you know what? Before I forget anymore, I've had this chain laying here. And I said I was going to come pick it up, and I never did. I won't forget it now. Anyway, like I was saying, going uphill. What's that, baby? The first hole. <laughs> mm. The first soft spot. Look how deep this is. Here, here. Give them some idea of how deep this is. <laughs> Look at that. Look. It's knee deep. <laughs> oh. oh, now see, now you're stuck. Oh, go get the chain. 
it almost pulled your pants down. Yeah. Oh, my zipper. <laughs> now look at this. Damn, Oof. look at those ruts. Oh. What is that? I don't know what that was. Maybe a possum or a raccoon. Or a squirrel. No, that was too big to be a squirrel. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but that was big. Bigfoot? Bigfoot? Skunk ape hunter? Where are you at, skunk ape hunter? You could have been finding Bigfoot. Skunk oh! ape hunt, hunter, you have to come hunt for Bigfoot out here in these mountains. You got a place to stay. There are lots of Airbnbs in the area. <laughs> Look at these rocks. What's up? Ah! Oh, the water is almost going in my face. <laughs> Man. Uber was stuck, stuck. Look at these. I did make it way up there, but when I backed up to try to go back again is where it went down. That's where he got stuck. I don't know if I want to stick my leg in that one. So you think that there's water there? Like, no. If we I dug a hole that it would fill up with water? I, I think that the ground is so saturated with water with this clay because clay doesn't absorb the water like regular sand like, that we're used to in Florida. I know that sun's right in everybody's face, huh, baby? Let me, uh, let me stand over here. I'm always, worse. Yeah. I'm always putting you guys in the sun. I want you to blind. <laughs> ah. um, I think that the clay just doesn't absorb the water like the sand that we're used to. In Florida, you can dig a hole and fill a slap full of water and walk away and come back in a couple hours and the sand will absorb the water. The clay, we're just not used to it. Um, we're not used to stuff piling or, you know, sitting in a hole and not going away right away. So this is going to be water it for a minute. This ground is just so saturated. I don't know. I don't know. And, and we're on the high side. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're, we're, on, whoa. we're on the high side of the hill. Yeah. This is as far as we made it. I was pushing up these trees. I was pushing up the trees and I was backing up to get another angle. I was going to go around. I can see the shallows right here. Yeah. So. There's where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so why did we decide to do this try this what you talking about the road yeah well we we decided to try to cut another road because of how bad drifters lane is our driveway right now is not passable and Actually, it is drying up tremendously, and I feel like if I would have waited another week to try to pull some of that mud off, it'd be good to go. And I think it's going to be good to go. I think after giving it some time to go ahead and just dry out, we'll be able to scoop the mud out. And then after we get the mud out, we are going to go ahead and uh, I think we're going to purchase uh, a culvert and dig us a hole and put a small culvert there, maybe dig a little, little thing out to the creek. After that, we can build the road up, start putting our layers, getting our rock and stuff like that, and, and then it'll be good. Okay. So we were just trying to make us a secondary road since the main driveway is closed. Correct. <laughs> well, matter of fact, since we're Can't about... hate us for trying, guys. <laughs> you, well, I mean... <laughs> we might as well go look at the driveway. Let's. We're talking about it. Let's go show you. That's the great part of being subscribed to Dreaming with Drifters. We're gonna show you real time what's happening. Cause if you're on Dreaming Drifter, or if you're on DD5, Drifting Dreamers 5, 
you guys are still waiting on the dog run. You haven't seen all what's happening yet. Yep. Look how good of a job I did right here. <laughs> yeah. So I said it was going well. Another thing we got to do today before we leave and go over to our friend's house at Simple Life Reclaim and, uh, and see Anthony and Roxanne over at Country Road Cure. We gotta get this concrete out the back of the truck. Joy! Don't worry, that's why we got the gorilla car. <laughs> Which is why things like this, we attempted to make a secondary road. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I did wanna unload all this in the gorilla car. However, for everybody who has questioned, um, Oh, how long is the gorilla cart going to last before they destroy it and all this other stuff? Uh, I got two things to say. Number one, this gorilla cart said on the box it was rated at 1,500 pounds, number one. Number two, it's ours. We're using it for work. If it breaks, it breaks. It's a pretty tough cart, guys. I mean, it is made for tough job duties. Um, that's what it's made the, for. The subscriber who sent us this gorilla cart would not have sent it n not knowing that it was going to work. And we want to say thank you so much again. Every day, this is our favorite by far tool that we utilize. <laughs> yes, yes. It's pretty sturdy, guys. The handle is made to be in the dirt. Oh, listen, look. It oh. is made to get dirty. It is made to carry heavy things. And it's doing its job, guys. Yep. And look, and also a subscriber pointed out, look, see the sides? You can actually put like a, like little wooden slats in here and make it bigger and make it higher yeah. and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Or, or make a dome or something like that. This is one tough cart. It really is, guys. It's okay. Let's show him the driveway real quick. I hear Uncle David coming on his FOMO will 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 there. <laughs> Look, it's drying up nicely except for the middle. Yeah. We'll get this fixed. Look. I'm not really even sinking on it. This will be fixed. Things take time. Look. Yep. Look at this big old rut. <laughs> now up here is a little more. Uh oh. Guess what guys? I think we're about to keep it real. Hey. Wow, that's some pretty big ruts. These look <laughs> like some Uber ruts. Hey, why you right there? Drop down, and give me two push-ups. Oh. Not over there, right there. I mean, I don't really You're right in the middle. I don't really think right you can just say where we're at. Right in the middle. Give them to me. Give them to me. Am I flat? All the way down. Am I flat? You're flat. One. Two. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, we're going to wrap this up. You're lucky I let you get away without getting in the middle middle. <laughs> Thanks for dreaming with the drifters. We're going to keep it real for a little bit, I believe. Don't forget to go over there and check out his new Fired Up Friday. And remember, the only way to see the work on Old Betsy is to check out Junk to Gems Homestead. All the footage is from there. Come on. Love you guys. Bye. Have a blessed day, everyone. Behind the scene. A little behind the scene.